Hey, I'm Andre. I'm creating this new video series for LinkedIn on NextLab. So feel free to join us on YouTube as well. And today I wanted to talk about labels in design and how you may be limiting yourself as a designer by unconsciously using one of these labels. We know there are many ways to work on design, right? We know that in the design field, I mean, you can work on the construction of interfaces or not, visual interfaces. Uh, maybe you fit better in the research phase, um, better performing quantitative research than qualitative ones, structuring project information, working on the information architecture, interviewing people, conducting co-creation sessions, participating in co-creation sessions, or perhaps you will find yourself more interested in creating texts as we know, copy is a fundamental element in evoking great experiences and so forth. So we are going to have UX designers, UI designers, product designers, UX slash UI designers, brand designers, but sometimes logo designers, UX writers, as I said, and so forth. So when you set the limit for yourself, for example, here on LinkedIn, you also limit what you do or are willing to do in a project. And the market will quickly understand that message. The market will respect and trust you, actually. So instead of offering you roles you could love working on eventually, you will never hear about them. It's something like, oh, look at this person, seems perfect. Look at all those qualifications uh, and so forth. But, oh, my mistake, this person, uh, describes himself as a web designer and this project requires mobile apps design. You see, something like that. It's really common. But actually, sometimes um, it doesn't make sense because you have all these skills to do that, right? In addition to that, they decided you want to work on such a project. So if you want to limit your design routine, labels are super efficient in creating this sense of limitation barriers. Um, of course, if you are more senior in this field and have already realized that you want to focus on one particular aspect of this whole process, that is not a problem. There is no problem with that. We understand, right? You, you, you have the, the choice to do that. But on the other hand, uh, suppose you've just taken a UX course online and, and put that label on your profile on LinkedIn, UX designer, UI designer, product designer, UX researcher, whatever. But in that case, you limit yourself to realizing the many other possibilities you have as a designer. Um, I, I read a post on LinkedIn that points to this direction, but brings an additional perspective. The author was the designer uh, Nick Nagliara, I'll link to that below. And, and he mentioned this side that by using the term UX UI designer, uh, people are reinforcing to their market. And remember, the, the market will respect and trust you, right? But they are limiting to the market and, and sending this message, right? That they what, what they do will be something on the interactive screen, you see, on the UI side, necessarily, I mean. Well, mo most of the time, it's what happens, but as Nick mentioned, also mentioned, um, there are other possibilities, right? Many other possibilities, uh, many opportunities on the UX end. Um, it's a limitation, right? Merging those terms. It's a, li it's a limitation somehow. In this case, a collective limitation since it's a broadly used term, right? Again, I don't think it's a problem using labels to inform the world about what you do or want to be focused on. The problem is when you have no conscience that you are limiting yourself from other possibilities, creating barriers, unnecessary barriers. What do you think about that? I'm curious to hear your opinion as well. Bye-bye.